The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. And now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rose. Welcome, folks. This is Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you uh, being with us out here. Dow is up uh, 385, NASDAQ up 78, S&Ps are up 38, we have gold up 30, silver's up 59, bonds are down a buck 15, king dollar's down 82, <laughs> we get the euro up 14, and we get the Fed uh, turning around, and what the Fed's doing, folks, is this, the Fed turned around and said to the world, uh, bottom line is that we're going to cut your to the other banks, the other okay, central right, banks, right. we're going to cut the rate in half overnight. Okay. But you know what? Okay. So why'd they do that? <laughs> no, but you, no, seriously, why'd they do that? Because they need dollars. Yeah, yeah. They okay, need dollars. Okay, so okay. check this out, folks, okay? This is really cool now. So check it out. What if we factually happen here? This bounce is not even close. But anyway, watch this. Yeah. What that... Okay, so the, the Federal Reserves, all these Feds come in and they swap lines. They, they swap lines all the time. So they extended this line. Yes. In this particular case, what happened is this, is that the world needs dollars right now. Okay. And they don't have any. Okay. No liquidity. Okay. So the Fed says, okay, listen, we're going to extend the line. This, li this line was um, going to be stopped. Uh, well, they never stopped. It was, they, it was going to be stopped in February, but they never stopped. They would extend it. But the bottom line is that... They made the overnight rate one half a percent so they can get more dollars so there's more liquidity. Is it going to make a difference in the long run? No. Yeah. In the short run, yeah, it's a, it's a bounce, period. Yes. No, absolutely. What, it, what is interesting, you know, in watching the currency marketplace is taking a look at the euro and taking a look at its action. Right. You know, and, and really what I was pointing out this morning on the show and really to what I've been really focused on with my clients has been truly trying to get their heads wrapped around the currency market. Even if they don't trade the That's currency right. pairs. It's so important to understand the correlation that's going on there because there's a roadmap oh. to where to where things are going, and the euro still, you know, is uh, is showing weakness. Is dead you know, weight. in this? You know, it is oh, yeah. really showing some uh, weakness here. Yeah, and there, there's no reason that you know if uh, uh, if there's some real juice behind this that the euro should be trading right now at 136. You know, at 136, we're trading at 134. I mean, it should it should really have some juice behind it. And, yeah, uh, and no, no, and and you'll see. So it's interesting. What what we just had happen just as we got on the air, folks. They knew the king dollar was coming back on the air. So what happened is that see, the the euro is giving it up right now. Now the euro we're at one thirty four. Now check this out, folks. The euro if the euro gets back under one thirty four twenty eight, you know one thirty four forty two. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. You'll see it all the way right back down to the other side today. Yeah. Today. And that is going to be another shocker in the marketplace, you know. It's wild, though. How you been, oh, no man? No question. Good I've be, been good. Good I've to be been back great. with you. Yeah, absolutely. Still good. coming out of it. Are you? Yeah, so you took you took the red eye yeah. back. Yeah, that's good, oh, though. Oh, man, that crushes you. Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat. Uh, are you able to sleep on? Uh, yeah, I slept are. three hours. Okay. Yeah, I, I felt good. I, I felt good. You know, that was always one of my biggest problems. You know, I, I used to travel all around the world. Sometimes right. I'd be... You know, on flights that were 15 hours long. Right. You know, and you'd, you'd look up, take a look at the clock, you know. Maybe it'd fall, I, if I fell asleep, it would be for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, that's and say, terrible. Oh, that's yeah. wicked. And it didn't matter whether I was uh, riding in a, uh, you know, in a plane that had uh, total horizontal seats. Right. Okay, because it wasn't exactly like it was a sleep number bed, folks. Right. You know, that you were right. on. You know, you're like in this little... Space capsule, right? If right, you were. right. And I never could could get covered. I would sit there. I'd read. Thank God, back. You know, we I had, can fall asleep anywhere. Could you, I can. Yeah, see that? I that's can. a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It makes it makes it a lot easier. Even though you're still, I was still spacey yesterday. I'm a little spacey, but but I, yeah. I feel good. I yeah. feel real good. Yeah. yeah. Oof. That's why you know after a while I just stopped and said, okay, because I can't sleep, and it would just you know, crush me for a couple of days. Right. I would just if I was going on a long trip, I would uh, stop. You know and and that's how I uh, really started to totally fall in love with Hawaii. Oh. Because that was a natural Perfect. layover. Yeah, it is. Great it place is. to go play golf. It is. You know, and just hang out. I and love recoup, it. And then I go on to it. Asia. 
Oh, you I know? love it. Perfect. Yeah. And then you get sure. more business done, too. Oh, you, you feel well, better. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you absolutely do. Yeah, there's no question that you got to take care of your body. Right, right. You know, no, you do a great time. job of doing no, that. Oh, big too, time. So. Big time. Okay, so out here today, folks. So you got you got, you got got a nice pop, right? Absolutely. Um, if we go look right now, there's, there's, uh, right now you're at uh, 192 million on the NYS, I mean on the NYSE, and you're at 361 on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ's the one I think that you're still going to keep your eye on. Meaning they'll give you the, the biggest clue as to what's happening. Apple can't hold it. Right. That's saying a whole I bunch. You should see that. Amazon can't hold it. That's saying a huge amount. Amazon, folks, they you know got up there today to 195. It's trading at 190. Uh, Wynn uh, Wynn got croaked yesterday. It's up seven bucks this morning. Now it's up five, five fifty. That can't hold it. They are just taking money and left and right and taking them down to the cleaners, man. It's it's really wild. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> well, it, no, look, it, 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 no question that it is. And one of the one of the charts that I shared, and I think I shared this with the uh, listeners yesterday, uh, or the day before. This is the SPX here. Okay, yes. so the cash cash okay. S and P. So you remember, you know, we were taking a look at this triangle wage originally. Okay, right, the smaller yeah. one, you know, right. the small blue line. Right. You know, which resolved itself to the to the downside. That yeah. was a real clue. That uh, you know things were in trouble. Okay. Mark yeah, because right. this should resolve itself to the upside, right? Not to the the downside. Right. So I still went ahead and kept in that trend line from the top down here. Okay. And then started you know a, a new trend line going from October fourth into yes. this little uh, morning star. Uh, right. Account. And so what's what's interesting is is you know looks like we're gonna we're gonna you know are these the test new, the other side? Yeah. Are these yeah, the new right. boundaries? Right. If you will. No. Right. I, I didn't want to see it come in there with this big long range bar just yet, but right. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if it just sticks around in this area, maybe pulls back, and tomorrow we test it. Right, because you, know, you see, light, should, what, what absolutely should happen today, folks, is that price should hold, the, all, all of this should hold, okay? Oh, it should. And if it doesn't, that's a huge heads up. Yeah. Now, now watch this, though. If we go overseas, you go to Asia last night, right? Right. right. Asia's pretty, pretty in pink. Yeah. Okay? And that, folks, and then, you know, this is what where you always want to be wrapping your head right around the world is a huge deal. You know, you go look at China. Right. You know, China came down last night vicious, okay? Gave it all up. So China, folks, in, in one night, basically got all the way back to October 10th yeah. with volume. Yeah. And, and you know what? Sure did. It's, it, it's an ABC down. Yeah. China's going to go break out its lows. That is, isn't that cool? It look is. at that. No, isn't it that is. sick? It is, for sure. Have you watching Tiger yeah, TV, folks? That swing point it, with it's, volume. it's a monster, ABC down. It's absolutely a monster. Um, and you know on the other side of it that what you have is that, you know, it would make sense that you got a bounce. Now, this here, um, no doubt, that we're looking at the footsie, that, that large bar is a big number. It is. No, oh, doubt, no yeah. doubt about it. Yes, no big, question. Big, big numbers over there. Um, so tell, tell me about the uh, gold show. The gold show you was know, good. Yeah. There was uh, 234 boots, which is the most boots ever. And that was a big heads up. Yeah. Because to me, that's now saying, is it the same place that uh, that they have held it before? Or did they yes. have to get a larger? Uh... No, they they blew out the place. This is okay. the largest. In fact, this is at the Marriott Marquis in San Francisco. Yeah. That's where the trade is exposed. Are the money shows that every, you, know, you normally go to the same places. Yes. So this here, they had where they normally would have food. They had boots. They had boots everywhere. And it was, uh, you know, and that, uh, to me, that's a heads up. And, and, and these boots, by yeah. the way, folks, mo most of them, uh, most small miners don't have any money. And okay. what they do, they're there saying, I have a backyard. And inside that backyard, I might have, you know, some people say I get, you know, 10,000 ounces, 100,000 ounces. Right. Um, you know, and the real question is, can you build a mine with that? And you can't. Okay. You know, so they're, they're trying to get basically investors. That's yeah. what they're trying to get. And yeah. I, I suspect that's. You know, in 2008, in May of 2008, that had been the most amount of boots, and that was about 160 boots. And this was how many, you said? 234. Okay. Man, but, so the, like but out of the 160 boots, or so. oh, no, yeah. but out of 160 boots in, in May, yeah. there's only about 15 companies left out of all those companies. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wipeout. Gone. Wow. Right? Now, these are all new companies. That's what I was looking at when I was there. I said, oh, look at this, man. This is amazing. Yeah. These yeah. are all new companies, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, all, it, all primarily there. You know, obviously trying to get capital. Yes, trying to get capital. Now, right. so so you had you had plenty of boosts there. What would you say was how was the attendance? Uh, would you the say the attendance was, was pretty good? <laughs> not, was, not the same type of uh, on, the attendance on, wasn't matching the growth as as the exhibitors on, or not really. No, okay. No, on on Sunday it was pretty good though. Monday yeah. was slow. It, it was hard to tell with two hundred thirty four boots too. Yeah, is that 
who's attendees and who's at the booths. Right, right. Because now right, you get right. 500, 600 people, for 700 sure. people just from the booth structure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but, you know, the, the people that were there seemed to be uh, happy. Yeah. Met a lot of tigers and tigresses. That's good. Kind of yeah, it was great. And a lot of great uh, interviews that, that we'll, yeah. uh, we'll get to uh, yes, listen to. I so got, how, how are you going to work that? We out? will we'll get those interviews up. They'll be up uh, probably not tomorrow, but the next day. I have all the tapes. We did, I did a lot of interviews. Yeah. Them, and that was fun. That's yeah. always fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good. It was a good show. And what was the, uh, you know, what was the feeling around there? You know, what, what, well, uh, the feeling, what, what, uh, you like, know, I, I did the... talk about a lot I, of uncertainty, if you will, around the markets. Well, the I, I did the workshop. I mean, people are scratching their head. I mean, and, and you know, folks, you get a picture of something here, folks. You know, if, if you get the gold report or you've been listening, hopefully, you know, you're not like most of the people that were there. Because yeah. if I've seen anything in the gold market in 10 years, yes. people haven't made money. And Which is that's, that's and, and, and then the thing, reason and the reason is that they've never sold. Okay. And you know we know we always sell. So right. You right, know right, I've seen right. the same people and it was crazy. Uh, you know because the bottom line is that they're scratching their head saying, "Hey, hold it. You know why aren't these stocks at highs?" Yeah. And so my workshop was on. It was on the dollar. It was on the bond market. Uh, it was on dollar bonds, right, right, and it was right, on gold, right. you know, to try to explain to them that, you know, you have to sell when things go high, yeah. you know, because look at it. I mean, you know, so it, I'll tell you, though, it's, it's really strange seeing many people that it's been one of the best. Oh, you know what I did? This is this is great. OK, folks, so I started I started the workshop off like this. I started the workshops off saying, OK. Who wants to lend the United States money? You don't want to lend the United States money, right? It's bad investment, right? You know, probably a quarter of the crowd, right? Yeah, said, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. okay. I, said, I said, you think the Chinese are going to lend us any more money? Right. No, no yeah, yeah, way. Right, okay. Right, right. And then I brought up the 40, the 30-year bond on a 40-year basis. I says, really? I says, you know what? Yeah, look I says, at that. This is the biggest, baddest bull market you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I says, sure. every single dime that the Chinese or anyone invested have made money hand over fist and oh, way over real estate, way over gold, way over everything. Yeah. Right? So right away, I was just explaining to them that if someone, you know, at these at these events, right, you have all the Armageddons, okay? For sure. You know, oh, absolutely. So I says, I says, so when they're explaining Armageddon to you, Make sure that you want to know factually well, what it is. Yeah, right? yeah, when they, when yeah, they're saying exactly. that the dollar is the worst investment in the world, right? Say, okay, why? And then I heard, oh, this is, hey, listen, for all you Canadians up there, I love you, but I'm going to tell you a story, and it just, I, I couldn't even say it to this guy. Okay, so listen to this. I'm sitting at a table, and, and you know, they, they feed you, so I'm sitting at lunch, yeah, and there's yeah, two yeah, guys yeah. across from me, right? Yes. And they were like, uh, they were about 35, 36. You stay right there, folks, because this story it. says okay. it all. I love it. I love this is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get the Dow up uh, 389, NASDAQ up 77, S&Ps are up 38. We're going to be right back, folks. Yeah, we'll get here. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. Give the gift of silver. This holiday season, TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. 
from now until December 30th. TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Is the fast-moving investment world challenging the way you think about managing risk and return? You don't have to go it alone. Direction's alternative strategy funds feature built-in tactical management to help you find clarity for the path ahead. Direction funds. I'm with X. To learn more about Direction's alternative strategy funds, please visit TFNN.com and click on the Direction Funds banner or call 877-434-9363. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information about Direction Funds. The prospectus should be read carefully before investing. To obtain a prospectus, go to directionfunds.com. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. The use of leverage by a mutual fund increases the risk to the fund. The more a fund invests in leveraged instruments, the more leverage will magnify gains or losses on those investments. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Hi, folks. Steve Rhodes here. Tom O'Brien and I need your help. Together, let's change the cash for gold industry once and for all. Now is the time to unleash the game changer, and that's you, folks. We've all seen the power of viral marketing. It's overthrown dictators, and now it's time to rid the thieves in this cash for gold industry. Together, we can change this industry in a heartbeat. You know about our industry-leading payouts, our free tools, our video valuation, and the education that we provide to help folks value their jewelry. Tom and I are experts and the industry's most trusted team. Please join us now by spreading the word to your entire email list. We'll pay you 5% of the total payout, which on average would be $50 per transaction. 100 transactions is five grand in your pocket. We'd rather put our marketing dollars in your pocket and more money in your referrals pocket. Go to TigerMetalExchange.com and click on the Become a Partner button to join our team. Let's start a revolution, folks. We can't do it without you. TigerMetalExchange.com, the only click you need to make. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien. Um, so yeah, I'm, so, I'm, so, sitting, so, I'm so, sitting at so, lunch, and there's yeah. these two young guys, good-looking guys, and they're, they're sitting there, and one's saying to the other, he says, you know, I was just telling that client, he says, you know, the United States, they've, they've been in a long time. Uh, downtrend, right? You know, they're just uh, basically, you know, they're going down the tubes. That's yeah. what he's saying. And yeah. I, I was looking over, folks, and, and I really wanted to say to him, I says, you know, you have absolutely no clue about what the United States is, number one. But see, the ironic part about the show that we're at, yeah. it, it, the way these mining shows work, folks, particularly you know, large ones like this, they're these are. Um, well, bottom line, I didn't. He, the just I didn't agree with him, but I could see by the way that he was even speaking yeah. that it, it was just like a matter of fact deal, and yeah, I just yeah, loved right, it. Right, right, I actually right, loved right, it. I was right, going right. to say something, and then I actually just loved it. I says, you know what? This is just amazing. I mean, you know, so wild. We got our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, Tom and Steve. Good morning to you both. Good morning. I tell you, every time I listen to your guys' show in the morning when I'm able to, you just keep flashing me back to my days in the military. You want to talk about misery? Back in the 80s, we used to do these joint exercises the 82nd Airborne did with the Egyptian Army back when the Cold War was on. Yeah. You want to talk about sitting on a plane, how about getting on a C-141 in Polk Air Force Base in North Carolina and then fly that bad boy straight to the Egyptian desert. Oh, man. In full combat gear, uh, with pack yeah. on, the whole no, nine, no. and it is nonstop, my friend, because that plane refueled in the air. Yeah, how many, so and, how many hours uh, was that? What do you think? Oh, Man, every bit, of, every bit of 
Or, well, it would depend. It would depend on where you are in the line because back okay. in the 80s, the 80 second was much larger. So if you were in the initial wave, yeah. you know, it's about 10, 11 hours flying time. Oh. If you were one of the last waves out And you're the really senior, jammed in. Yeah, they're, like, they're, oh, like this. Just, they're like this. They're like this. There's no first go, class there. The staging area you would go to. You, you could sit there and, and, do, and be in a holding pattern for four hours until the green light went off, depending on where they wanted to drop you in the desert, man. And it oh, was, oh, man, man misery. <laughs> Absolute misery. You just want to get off that plane. I don't care where I jump. Just get me out of this plane. <laughs> but uh, hey, anyways, guys, I'll tell you the time I was thinking about you this morning. I was uh, up early this morning, and uh, about six o'clock, I'm kind of watching the uh, the NDX. Yeah. The NDX kind of go sideways, and then right about six a.m., this nice little pop comes up. I'm like, wow, what's that all about? So, kind of pops up and takes a little bit of a retrace. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I retraced about three a.m. I'm like, well, let's go long, just see what happens. And then the freaking thing explodes. It explodes upside, and I'm like, get out of here. So then I look, I put the NQs on a daily, and in the moment I do that, I'm thinking to myself, I'll just flash back to our conversation yesterday afternoon. I'm like, man, is this a gift from above or what? Right. You know, and uh, so did you, a question for you. I shorted the, uh, the NQs at 22.80 a few minutes ago. Did you? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you think uh, the dollar's going to kind of claw its way back as the day rolls on? Yes. Or what's your yeah, and I just said to Steve, if it doesn't, then I'd close them at the end of the day. I mean, what I, what I plan on doing here at the end of the day is this, is that the, the market will be in shock even if you, you back off a little, not a lot. Like, and, and the euro, I'm going to trade this off the euro. The reason being, all the euro has to do right now is get inside 132, 134.42. And that's a failure. And larger players will understand that and they'll whack that thing big time, man. What's the number on that 134, 132 range? Is that what you're saying? Now, 134, is the number. Yeah, you come back inside that range and that thing will be back down to 132 in a heartbeat. Awesome. Um, awesome. You know, and so, you see, what the, what the Fed and the central banks did, folks, just so you understand, is that the world needs dollars. That's why they had to do that. They, they, the actual relationship is that the, the Europe is going to get their euros off their central bank, but they don't. They, nothing they can do with the euros because no one wants them. So the the Fed is going to take them overnight and give them dollars back. That's what this whole thing is about. Right. And we, that in itself is a huge deal. I mean, because it says, okay, you know, the euro is dead. And if the euro is dead, it's going to keep more pressure on the markets. Wouldn't it also indicate? being an extremely bullish move for the dollar longer term here. Just yeah, it does. It does. Go it, it does, absolutely. Now, the wild card here, though, is this. Now that, that, so that would be the bearish case. The bullish case on this for the bulls out there would be that, okay, QE3 could be right around the corner. That's right. Because that what, what, is, what ha absolutely has happened there is that, you know, Bernanke says, no, I'm coming in here and I'm coming in for the world now. That's right. You that's know, right. So, so that probably, I, I would say that on the bullish case, that's on the table. And that's why when I look at this, it'll, it'll depend on where we close at the end of today. Because if we close up here, Dave, and the volume's all right, I'd just close it because we'll get, we'll get a third gap up. Yes. Because there's only that's, two, that's, there's that's only right. two, there's only that's two right. gaps that's up right. right now. And that's, that's what I'd love to see. Yeah, right. I mean, no, I, I know. Come exactly. On. Come on, baby. Exactly. 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 Right, right. The right. thing is that, you know, if you just simply went over to the ETF structure, the Qs, the Diamonds, the uh, Small Caps, and the Spies, so far, there's no conviction. No, there isn't. You know? There isn't. I mean, there should be, for being up 400 points, there should be more conviction. Big time. Volume there should wise. be much more volume behind this. Thing, that's right. There that's right. Be. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. Have Thanks. a great one. Have a safe one. We're coming right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. 
You can take advantage of this trade as market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Did you know that the price of gold is up over 24% this year, while the GDX, the Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF, is actually down 1.4% this year? Not all gold stocks are created equal, and not all gold stocks move with the price of gold. In October, Tom O'Brien recommended a buy of FCX in his gold report, and only six trading days later advised his clients to close the position, profiting almost 22% in this one trade. During the same six trading days, the price of gold was barely up 5%. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives investors the inside edge they need to profit in this gold market. Each Monday morning, Tom issues a gold market update at around 9.30 a.m., then issues a full report each Tuesday afternoon. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. To order your Gold Report with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com today or call 877-518-9190. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to a hundred dollars let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days go to the home page of tfnn.com and click on my name steve rhodes for your 30-day risk-free trial you are born to be a money master and i'll teach you how this segment is brought to you by crocodile gold for more information just click the crocodile gold banner on the front page of tfnn.com yeah. Right. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the uh, uh, higher volume stocks out here. Bank of America saved itself uh, up 21 cents right now at 529. Yeah. JP Morgan up a buck 51. You got Morgan Stanley up 85. Transocean, that got killed. That's going to yeah. continue to get killed, too. Yeah. They just totally blew it. That's going to 20 bucks. That's at 41 right now, 43. What do I, what's going on with them? Uh, what they did what? is this. Uh, now, this is sick, folks, okay? Transocean. Uh, this is rig. The symbol's rig. Yeah. They've been buying back their stock forever, okay. and they've been buying it back at highs, and that has to do with holding the stock up so all the executives can get their options off the right place, right? Okay. So now, all of a sudden, they basically have not run out of cash, but yeah. you know, they, they basically have run out of cash. So now they're going to send out 26 million shares to the marketplace at lows. Mm. <laughs> is that is that? It's sick. It is absolutely sick. And the bottom line, uh, folks, is the monster ABC down. You can see this has been building cause to go down since geez, 28, that, yeah. 2008. I know it's intense. I mean, if you want to see something that's so clean that no, no volume at highs, monster volume at lows, and just blow it right away. Just, it's, it, is, it is absolutely amazing. There's no doubt about it. Um, let's go to uh, Rick in Colorado. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Masters. 
How you doing? What's happening, man? How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Excellent. Thanks for calling. Beautiful. Thanks for holding. Excellent. Thank you for the surprise yesterday afternoon. I won the silver coin. Oh, that's oh. awesome, man. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, and I got in a phone call while I was in my dungeon at DIA, so I wasn't able to take the call. Oh, <laughs> that's a riot. That's great. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Cool, man. I wanted to also check, Tom, did you get my package uh, in the mail with the uh, wildlife sanctuary in uh, Kingsburg, Oh, Colorado? I did. Thank you. I didn't realize that was you. I, I, will, yeah. I will check that out. Thanks, man. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. That's pretty cool, yeah. So we want to look at J-A-C-K, if you have a moment. Good old Jack in the Box, huh? Are, are you in it? Looking to get in it? What, uh, what well, you... I've got this thing all marked up. If you pull this thing back on a weekly, got a high volume high in 2007, but it's been consolidating for three years. I think he's been out all night, and he wants to go to Jack in the Box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys have any Jack in the Boxes out there? Oh yeah! Oh, you do? oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh yeah! That sounds he's, like he's, a customer. He's out west, no, uh, no doubt, man. I remember in California, man. I love those places. Uh, it's yeah, great. it's great. Good old garbage food. Nothing like it. <laughs> no, uh, you know what's funny is that I'm not kidding, man. And I'm sure most of the people know, I man. If you're you're, you're out on uh, um, at two in the morning, yeah, you're going to Jack in the Box. No uh, doubt. No, I see. Okay, so what he's looking at is this, folks. Thirty-nine uh, seventy-seven. I see what you're looking at. Okay, so you get some nice juice up there. Now this it's is kind of this... hugging, kind of hugging just above this seventeen eighty four. If it goes past that, then game off for a while. Yeah, no, I mean this. I, I like how this is set up, even on a daily, because what does happen is this: is that when you won't back off the top of the trend, you know, in the top of the trend is that twenty one forty four. It's like okay, I mean, I just let it test one more time. Coming into that 1988, you come into that 1988 with light volume, I'd buy it. Okay. Because what you could do, you could put your stop under 1911. I wouldn't even let it get to the low. You know, what happens with many of these that are set up like that, they either go or don't go, ASAP, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to give it a lot, do you know what I mean? Do you, um, do you show that the company's got any money that at least it's going forward selling its garbage? Oh, they probably always have money. I mean, that, you know, Jack Jack in the Box is, uh, yeah, they're still taking in a half billion dollars every 90 days. All right. They're not going south. Okay. But you know you know what they have, too? I, and it, I mean, they have some prime real estate, man. Yeah. I don't know if they lease it or what, but they get prime real estate, no doubt, man. Well, they come back into the Colorado market, and then they've really built some really nice stores. They're beautiful. They're actually it's kind of cool to go in. It's kind of a little earthy person store. So it looks really, really nice to go in. All oh, right. Yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, you you stay care. right there, folks. Steve and I are coming right back. Give the gift of silver. This holiday season, TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading stock, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and I very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today.
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN. Com. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. This is Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We get the dial 419. NASDAQ up by 89. Now, S&P's up 42. Okay, so where are we uh, astrologically here, man? Well, uh, you know, we're, we're, like, we're going to the moon, baby. We're going to the moon. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt about that. <laughs> like I said this morning, I told him I was coming live from NASA. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that. That's uh, right. Uh, space that, shuttle. That's the, right. The thing is, is that you, you almost, other than lunar, okay, okay, you know, your normal lunar patterns that we have, yeah. Um, you know, we are uh, we're in, we're clear sailing. I think until about February time frame. Man, that means we can go up to February. <laughs> well, well, that, hey, maybe. Well, uh, you know, hey, look, anything is well. Look, if the game hasn't changed, right? Okay, and this is uh, you know not a whole lot more than a, a PR uh, blitz, if you will. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't have anything really tangible behind it. Right. We've been through these events. Oh, yeah, you no, know, no, absolutely. I mean, we, the last one was October 27th, folks. Yeah. You know, go take a look at right. uh, That was when That's the, right. uh, you know, ECB, you know, uh, introduced their financial stability package, their right. fund. Right. Okay, and then the reality was is that people started looking underneath the covers and said, well, wait a minute here, there's no engine, you know, in yeah. this car. Right. Which was pretty wild last night because, well, I was just doing a little bit of work or what have you, you know, what I saw come shoot across my uh, phone was the mere fact that uh, they had enlarged the plan. And I, something like that, and I said, en enlarge the plan? They couldn't get anybody to fund what they first had. No, they couldn't. What do you, what do you mean? Right. You know, I was kind of like, well, that does, and that's that not going to have a lot of fuel. And, and what Steve's talking about, folks, that, that is the main reason that the Fed had to come in for their central banks today, because they couldn't fund it. The last night when that, when that was happening, they, 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 they couldn't fund it, period. Didn't, didn't move the markets, didn't do anything. No, you know, right, right. You know, right. Like, well, right. So nobody's buying this piece of... Right. Uh, so, so the reality is we've got to really kind of see what, uh, like, like, like you're pointing out, and like I pointed out to the listeners from 9 to 10, look, if this is a, if this is a, a little bit of a game changer here, meaning they're changing the way the game is played, yeah. and there's a liquidity event, it becomes a lot easier way to figure out how to play this thing. But if there's nothing really underneath the covers, then uh, this is uh, this could be similar to the October 27th event. Yeah, oh, no, no, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. I, there's no two ways about it. And the it. currencies, I think it's just a matter of keeping our eye on the uh, currency piece of it. And that will give us a, a big cue. Yeah. And a big and a big clue. And and also just take a look at like just take a look at the actual volume behind this move. Yeah. You and know, right and right now a, there's uh, nothing. Yeah, there's no volume behind it. Right now you get two hundred and sixty one million on the NYSE and on the Nasdaq we got five hundred and forty one. Yeah. And so what's interesting though is you know, you look through for follow through days. So when I did the show on Monday, yeah, you know, it was nice because right. I had Ken Hoover on, you yes. know, and so we had a you know, a good day obviously on Monday. And then now, now I think he was looking for you know his follow through days on day four through. This is this, so this is a sooner. This is an earlier. This one. would be one of the most powerful ones if if they get the volume today on an IBD deal. Yeah. This would be a very powerful follow through. Yeah. They, um, let me just see something. Oh, that's right. You know what happens? That is right. 
They actually like so, to see so it on the two, fourth. On the it's third not, day. Yeah, so the second's got, too yeah, soon. So I, so I don't know what... No, yeah, the second's too I, soon. Okay. We got, we'll have to get our expert Ken Shreve on. Yeah. But, yeah, but that's... I believe... You know, they'll take it, but a second day is better. They like it seeing the fourth day to the tenth day. If it comes in on there, that's the ultimate for an IBD follow-through take. Yeah, because, and I mean, you definitely have the volume versus yesterday. You know, the, that, that's not, you know, that should be, uh, that shouldn't be difficult, I think, for us to do. No, it shouldn't. Okay. But it's, it looks like it's going to be right yeah. now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it shouldn't. Yes. No, there's, no, there's no doubt about that's that. Right. I mean, it, uh, it, should, it should be able to basically, you know, ramp it up. Yeah. You know, if we look at the queues right now, you get 29 million, and you're going into uh, 91. That's going to be, you know, we'll see. What well, but we from a follow through, through day standpoint, it's, it's really just getting, you know, more the, than a more than yesterday. Million. That, yeah, yeah, more than yesterday. Know, that's all. Because you certainly for. got the uh, you certainly got the percentage uh, piece of it. So that's yeah. all they're looking so for. So we got to we got to find who's the who's the expert on uh, on uh, follow through days and have them call in. Yeah, well, I'm sure we get some tigers and tigresses out there that are. Yeah, no doubt about it. So. Uh, yeah, four, four and a quarter. And oil. So if you take a look at the, what's going on with the uh, crude. So so what's going C on with the uh, crude, crude oil? What's that uh, look like to you? Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Pull it, baby. I like that. Okay. So, so, so you got this some week, you have. weak volume. Yeah, you're going into uh, 420,000 contracts. Right now you got 147,000. It doesn't do a thing, man. Yeah. So it's going to have a tough time getting up and over that. And, of course... I think a lot of that has to do with what the unrest in the Middle East, yeah. probably. You know what I mean? That, but what did you see? Wild. Hey, listen that to this. Wild. Listen to this. This this is really cool. So, uh, what was it? Peak oil, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know that now we're a net exporter of oil? We are. Yeah. No. I swear to God. Really? So check this out, folks. This is where the, these things. Really? Are. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we are. We're a net a net exporter of oil. And they figure for the next 10 years we're going to be. That it's, it's turned around totally. We were a net importer. Uh, yeah, exporter. You got it. That's right. We were a net um, importer uh, by 900 million barrels. Okay. Um, that was going back the last seven, eight years. Yeah. And we are a net, a net exporter right now. Yeah. That is wild. Yep. They turned last month. And it had, the, the trend has been going that way, which is just absolutely amazing, you know. I know. And, you know, so w watch what it has to do with that. And I know a lot of you may be scratching their head on that, okay? But what, what's going on is this, is that the, depending where oil gets generated, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we still import oil, but we export so much oil because, see, that's why they want to turn the pipeline around, because there's so much oil that is in the Midwest that, let's see, is it, yeah, they're going to turn the pipeline around and go east now. And that's where the, the, the differ, differential is, is in the crude and the Brent. Okay. okay. And because with the bottom line is that now they're just pushing it out. But we're a net exporter. That's, that's, that's the big thing. You that's know amazing. I mean? Yeah. Isn't that well? Yeah. I know, man. I know. Where, where do they finally get this gas thing going, man? When this gas thing going, then we really can get some action. And that's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. So I heard your, I heard your uh, uh, story last night about your Continental Airlines. And yes. How, and how, how big a of a fan. Yeah. You are of Continental oh, Airlines and, United. And, the and the personal touch. Yeah, the personal touch. You should see this guy look at me. <laughs> this guy looked at me, and let me tell you something, folks. I, I'm a, I think I'm really easy, but when someone wants to you know, yeah. have some action, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just pick the right person. <laughs> so, you know, he wanted me to talk to this computer. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, I looked at him, crazy. and I said flat out to him, I said, no wonder why you guys are bankrupt, man. I said, you should go bankrupt. You're going to lose your job, yeah. you know. I mean, oh, it was disgusting. It was really disgusting. Yeah. It really was. Listen, folks, Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there. We get the dial 420, Nasdaq up 89, S&P's up 43. We're going to be right back. As Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before December 31st from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. 
Tiger Scaling, the Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The art of timing the trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 of trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's support our local businesses, keep money in your community, and get a great education. But be sure to act now, because you have until December 31st to take advantage of this opportunity. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Hi folks, Steve Rhodes here. Tom O'Brien and I need your help. Together, let's change the cash for gold industry once and for all. Now is the time to unleash the game changer, and that's you folks. We've all seen the power of viral marketing. It's overthrown dictators, and now it's time to rid the thieves in this cash for gold industry. Together, we can change this industry in a heartbeat. You know about our industry-leading payouts, our free tools, our video valuation, and the education that we provide to help folks value their jewelry. Tom and I are experts and the industry's most trusted team. Please join us now by spreading the word to your entire email list. We'll pay you 5% of the total payout, which on average would be $50 per transaction. 100 transactions is five grand in your pocket. We'd rather put our marketing dollars in your pocket and more money in your referrals pocket. Go to TigerMetalExchange.com and click on the Become a Partner button to join our team. Let's start a revolution, folks. We can't do it without you. TigerMetalExchange.com, the only click you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With The Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only five hundred and twenty seven dollars per ounce Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG Catch Basil Chapman, editor of the Chapman Market Line and Trends Watch, as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you being with us. Uh, Dow's up uh, 430, Nasdaq's up 90, S&P's are up 44. I can't believe it's almost I, 10 o'clock already. Yeah, hey, I like flying these space shuttle missions with you. Yeah, you know, totally, man. On the way to the moon. Yeah. Uh, no I doubt. love it. I do too, man. I, I'm, I, my head's wrapped right around this baby, man. There's nothing like it. Wait, this is like the Boston weather. Wait a few minutes and we get a is, weather this change. This is just like, just kind of like your normal bull market, you know? 200-point moves. 400 point moves. Yeah, this is this is exactly like the market oh, in 2008. Exactly. No, no, it, no it absolutely I, is. It, abs it absolutely is. There's and no that's what that's what really folks need to try to understand is go back to the 2008 right. time frame. Right. Take a look at daily charts and understand the moves that were going on right. there. You know, and each time, you know, it was a market that was so fed on rumors and information. Right. And what the Treasury was going to do, or what the Fed was going to do, or what was going on with banks and. All of that. Yeah. It was all trying. What what it is, folks, is this, is that it's 
what the Fed just did is they're just trying to slow down the movements, and that's important. There's no oh, doubt no, about yeah, that. Yeah, there's, sure. there's, there's, there's no two ways about it. It's important to basically slow down the busting out of banks and the busting out of the euro, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. And the way they did this, if you, you really want to go over and read and understand what they're doing. Because when you get when you read into it, you'll realize that no one wants the euros. Right. So they have these euros, but then no one wants them. So now the Fed has said, okay, I'll take them overnight until you guys straighten something else out. Yeah. You know? So um, there's going to be, uh, it's you know, they are buying time. That's right. They are buying time the in a Fed big way. The Fed wants to own it all, baby. Well, the Fed, you know, I mean, this is where the, you know, you're going to, by the end of, yeah, by two or three hours, I'm sure there's going to be articles out there saying, Oh no! What are we doing now? Saving the world again? Yeah. And then I, I just saw one of the tigers. The tigers is in the den. It was really cool. Uh, what they actually said is that uh, you know Merkel pushed and Bernanke blinked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. Yeah. Right. right. No. It, so, absolutely. So there is a, there's a lot to be said about that. Really. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't thought that one through yet, but um, there, there's no doubt. You know. Well, I, well, I, I saying, said, okay, you guys want your own currency. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. We're, we're in pretty good shape here in Germany. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go to Bill in New Hampshire. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Um, the characteristics on the follow-through, um, you guys were asking about that. Yeah. Moment, yes. Uh, here they are. Oh, good. Day one of an attempted rally begins when a major index closes up or finishes high in the day's range. Okay. The count continues as long as the previous low is not undercut. Right. And on day four or later, day four or later, yeah, a major in index, one major index has to rise for a big price gain on heavier volume. Yeah, so they, see, is, they do like the, the four day. day. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So there's yeah. something behind so, that. So for all you bulls out here, this is too early. Tell, tell, yeah. tell us to go back to sleep for a couple of days. Yeah. Now, if, if there's a down day on larger volume with day one, two, or three, then there's an 80% for better okay. chance that it's going to fail. Okay. The follow-through is going to fail. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you just have to wait and see, just like, you know, be patient. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, we I'm appreciate at, that feedback. Okay, I'm looking at RIC. RIC. Let's take a look at it again. Ridgemont uh, Mines, they do, do like business. I'm sorry? Do you like this one? Um, let's take a look. The lowest $4, okay. the highest 13 They make money. This, this has come quite a way, I can tell you that, because I remember this at Penny's, I think. It's the same stock. Yeah? That's the same stock. 86 cents, and that went down to 95 cents, and it's 11 bucks. How about that? Yeah, there's action here with this, man. So, okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the, the you had a nice test of that October fourth. Uh, you know, let me just touch, yeah. touch the top you touch, of it. You touch the top, but, but that, they okay. love doing that, man. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Thanks okay. for that feedback, too. Appreciate okay, it, man. Okay, bye. Okay, folks. Uh, you stay right there. We got uh, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, coming up next from Newton. Larry Pesavento in Tucson. David White back here. And we'll finish you off uh, 4 to 6. Have a great day, folks. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. 9 a.m., brother. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.